Hey everyone, it is Noah here from Veneta's headquarters and today we are going to do an NBA tier list. It is just basically overrated uh, versus underrated players. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, so sit back, eat, maybe get your popcorn and relax as this is going to be a long video. Alright, so it looks like this NBA tier list, see, it gets a little bit long. Um... So yeah, um, it looks like it's a, like a few years be few years back because all these players are like, it's like some of them are on teams that were they were on previously. I'm guessing like two years, not even that much. So I'll just rate them based off of this year. All right. So first thing for first player is Steven Adams. All right. So for Steven Adams, uh, I guess I, I'll say he's a properly rated player. Um, he's just he doesn't do as much as he used to on the Thunder. He's on the Grizzlies now. Uh, he's just, he's like a brick wall. He helps with screens. He um, helps with rebounds. He's just, uh, he's just an average player. Al Horford. Okay, so we're talking about a guy that's 36 years old and uh, is still reliable in my opinion. Um, so we'll just do these two. This will be a little bit underrated, just a little bit. And this will be like a little bit overrated. So it's not like crazy. So for Al Horford, um, I would honestly say slightly underrated just because, like, he's still, like, 36, 37 years old, and he's, he is reliable as, like, if, it, like, if, like, one of the Celtics players do bad, he can clean it up a little bit and get back, get him back on track. So I think he's a slightly bit underrated. All right, Lonzo Ball. So he's in the Bulls now, and he has been injured, like, half the year. So, uh... I'll have to say, uh, I'll say properly rated, just because uh, he's a good defender and he has good playmaking as they expected. His shooting got a little bit better, and yeah, I think he's just where he should be. Bradley Beal. All right, I'm gonna put this dude at slightly underrated. Uh, he's a great scorer. Everyone, a lot of people know that, but I don't know. I just he's just he averaged like 30 points last season and. I don't even think he won the MVP. And I don't think he did, no. Like, he... It's just... He was, like, the leading scorer. I, it could have been... I think it was Stephen Curry, actually. He was second, but really close. Uh, I just think he's slightly underrated. There really isn't much to say about him, but... All right, next we got Boogie Cousins. So he's in a Golden State Warriors jersey. That is not correct because he's in the Nuggets. Um... This one's tough because I know some people that say he's, like, still good, but I'll just say he's properly rated. Uh, he's not as good as he used to be on the Kings because of injury. He tore his ACL or tore his Achilles or something like that. I don't really remember, but uh, he had a really good game with the Nuggets one this year. He had, like, 31 points or something. That was, like, the original Boogie Cousins I've seen. Uh, but overall, he's not really the player that he used to be. Devin Booker. All right, so I'm going to have to say properly rated. I'm not going to say underrated or a little bit underrated because, like, he's a good scorer, and everyone knows that. He scored 70 points once, but they haven't really gotten anywhere. Like, with the Suns, they got a really good record, but they only made it to, like, they made it to the finals, but they didn't win against the Bucks, and they didn't even make it to the finals. They didn't make it to the conference finals this year uh, against the, I mean, they didn't even make it to the conference finals, so... I'll just say he's a properly rated player. All right, we got Malcolm Brogdon here. He is on the Pacers now. So I don't really hear much about him just because, I don't know, like I first when I first heard about him, they were talking about him because he was a good player, solid, and he still is. So I'll say properly rated because he's just a reliable scorer. He can play defense, just a little bit of everything, kind of an average player. Brooke Lopez. This guy's getting older. Uh, really good on the Brooklyn Nuts. Nothing really special about him, so we just properly rate him where he is. Buddy Heald. So he got traded to the, the Pacers this offseason. I mean, oh, not this offseason. This season uh, during the trade deadline. And there's really nothing special about him. Uh, I don't know. I just don't hear about him anymore. Like... He's an older rookie when he came into the NBA. And he's a good three-point shooter. That's really it. 
I'll have to say slightly a bit overrated because I know people still talk about him and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know. CJ McCollum. So, he's a good player. Really good with Dam Damian Lillard. He's on the Pelicans now. He has had some good games. He's had him some bad games. Pretty A little bit inconsistent with his playing-wise. I'd say a slightly bit overrated because I know people. some people like say, CJ McCollum will save the day or something. And yeah, he could definitely do that, but not always in my opinion. All right, we got John Collins here. I do not know why some people say he's an overrated player, but I honestly think he is underrated. He is an ath Oh, sorry about that. He is like literally an athletic power forward. He's really good with Trey Young. And like they just make a really good match together. I don't know why people underrate him. Like he's not he's not anything spit like he's not a superstar or anything, but he's an over he's a little bit above average player. So I'll I'll put him at slightly underrated. Michael Conley. You got to put him at slightly underrated because even though he got that injury, he is he is good. I mean, he's a solid player. He still play makes well. He's good at defense. He's got good basketball IQ. And, yeah, he's, he's still a good player, but not as good as he was on the Grizzlies, but still can play ball. Damian Lillard. So, he had a... I know I keep saying so. I'm sorry. Uh... He had a down year this year overall. He got injured and was out for the rest of the season. I think it was in like the beginning of the season. And like overall, his numbers weren't great. His field goal percentage-wise wasn't good. But he's a good player overall. And I'd have to say, uh, yeah, it's just one bad year. It was an off the year. He could have gotten back on track. So properly rate him because he's Dame Dalla, of course. He can be clutch in these in tight situations. It's it's good. All right, D'Lo. I'm gonna put this guy up and overrated. He's not good at all. He's he's washed out. He has he's one. He has he has a one year. Well, he 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 had one good year with Brooklyn, and that's it. He can't do anything anymore. Anthony Edwards is much better than him. Carl Anthony Towns is much better than him. He's not ice in the veins anymore. So, bye bye. Demar Rosen. He's in the Bulls. Uh, he's starting to decline as a player-wise. He's getting a little bit older. He's still a good player, but not as good as he was on the Spurs or the Raptors. So, I'd have... But people, like, still talk about him. And... Even without him, I'd say slightly overrated. Because people say, like... Oh my gosh, we need DeMar DeRozan back because we have so many injuries on our team. But Zach Levine can still lead your guys' team. Like, it's... And Vucevic. And Vucevic. That was a big help with you guys. DeMar DeRozan's good at defense, but I just feel like even without him, you guys are still pretty much fine. Spencer Dinwiddie. This guy, this guy in 2019, man, was impressive with the Nets. He's on the Mavericks now. He's still a, he's a, still a solid player. He gets... He gets games where he has like 15, maybe 10. And he has other games where he's like getting like 30 points. I'd put him at properly rated. He's a good player. He just, yeah, he's just, he's just fine. All right, we got Victor Oladipo here. So, I don't know why I keep saying so. I'm getting so frustrated with me about that. But <sighs> Victor Oladipo is an interesting player. He got injured all year. He finally came back. He was most improved 2017-2018 season. Was really good. Honestly, I thought he was going to have a great career the rest of his career. But injuries caught up to him. And he still has that athleticism, I'm going to tell you. But he's not as good as he used to be. Like, if someone needed like if someone needed a player, Victor Oladipo is the player to get. I'd go with I'd go slightly underrated. I think this guy still has some game and has good defense and he's good speed. Goran Dragic. So we have no one on the underrated list yet. Goran Dragic. I like this dude a lot. I think I put him at the underrated tier because he is he's older, but he's a very he's very um just like whenever you need him, he'll be there. Like if if we need a backup point guard, a backup veteran to teach young players, like Goran Dragic would be the best player fit for like the Cavs maybe. Maybe Ricky Rubio is probably who we're gonna sign, but if not, Goran Dragic is the player to go. <sighs> Draymond Green. <laughs> Look at the pointer finger sticking up his nose. 
Ah, Draymond Green. <sighs> Overrated. He's a he's a good defender. No cap. No cap. He's a really good defender. He has he has good playmaking too. But I just feel like it's just it's just too much at this point. He was good. Twenty. I'll say 2013, 2014 to 2016. And then once 2016 passed, he's he's been bad. I mean, bad with shooting. I know his his offense is not his big strength, but he's just he's just he's just a donkey and all he does is yell at the refs and that's all he does. All right. Uh is, that's Derrick Rose. All right, Derrick Rose. I don't know why it was so confusing to me. We all know that Derrick Rose 2010, 2011 MVP was a great player until he tore his ACL and that's when his career basically went downhill. Uh, put him up properly rated. I feel like he has developed a little bit more since his injury and people just say he's just a solid player. He doesn't do anything bad. It's just, yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh, Dennis Smith Jr. Overrated. What a bust. He was good one year and then he got, and then he, I don't know if he got injured or what, but he got so bad. So, so bad. Eric Gordon. <sighs> say properly rated. If this was a few years back, I'd say underrated because it was a sixth man of the year. He shot really well. He had good defense. And he still does that, but he's not. He's getting older, and he's not contributing as much as he used to. So I'd say properly rated. All right, Danilo Gallinari. Uh, he's on the, what team is he on? The Hawks. Again, he's not as good as he used to be with the Clippers and the Nuggets. He's good at shooting, but nothing really, nothing really special with him except for shooting. Uh, I'd put him at properly rated. No one really talks about him too much, and it's just like, whatever. Rudy Gobert. Gotta put this guy at underrated, man. Come on. People, like, joke around about him and say, Rudy Gobert, he's an all-star? The dude, I know he's a stifle tower, but there's guys that are, like, 7 foot 5, and they don't even average as much stats as he does. And that does count with playing time and stuff, but he has, he stays well on the court. He doesn't flop around too much. He has, he's a great blocker. He's great defense. He averages, like, 15-15 or something. And, yeah, it's just, he's really good. Aaron Gordon. I'd put this guy at underrated. Uh, slightly been underrated. Because he... Oh, sorry about that. He is... Let's just say he's an all-around player, power forward. He's not a really dominant dunker anymore. He's developed, and he's not a great player, but he can be that secondary third... Maybe third man on the court, and get you points and get you stops and like that. Oh my gosh, James Harden is washed out, man. That's it. King Brow, if you're reacting to this, James Harden, you've got to be honest, he is washed out. He's a, he's averaged like 22 points and his his 22 points is not a bad for a play, but you're coming with a guy that has averaged 30 points and better and even 25 points with better field goal percentage. What a what a washed out player, but overall He's had a great career, but he, he's just done for. No no max contract or anything for him. Drew Holiday, man. Underrated. People say he's inconsistent, which can happen with any player. The dude has won all defensive second team, which is honestly kind of disrespectful. He should have won. He should have won defensive first place defensive team. All defensive first team. There we go. He can block. He can steal. You seen that steal when he did uh game five or six or something? I think it was game five. Yeah, it was game five against the Suns in the finals, and he got a big steal from Devin Booker and an alley oop. It's a really good alley oop to Ante to Kumbo to slam it home. Next we got Brandon Ingram. I'll put this guy. Should I put him at slightly underrated or underrated? Because Put him at slightly underrated. Oh, nope. No, not properly rated. Slightly underrated because he is a ball player. He may be skinny, but he can shoot that mid-range. He can just play good defense. He's very athletic. And he's basically like a, like a Kevin Durant almost. 
Uh, Pelicans players talk about him, and some people talk about him how he's good like that. He's not he's not very underrated, like he doesn't get talked about. Jamal Murray, too bad he's been injured all year. What a great player, especially in the playoffs. I can see him next year in the playoffs being so clutch like he did the last two years in the playoffs. I put him at uh slightly underrated because no one no I put him at properly rated because people say he's a good shooter. He's clutch. And yeah, that's just how he is. LeBron James, properly rated. We all know he's the GOAT of the basketball. I mean, Michael Jordan is, but he's the secondary GOAT. He's a good player. Everyone knows that. And yeah. Some cases... No, no, never mind. Whew. Jimmy Butler, man. You gotta put him out underrated. He's been dominating the playoffs. Like, dominating. And people just don't even know that. People say the Heat are not gonna win the finals. People said they're not even going to make it to the finals. And Jimmy Butler's just out here balling with 30, 40 point games, man. What a great player. Joel Embiid. Oh my gosh. What a baby. <sighs> Overrated. He has. He gets half of his points from the free throw line. He's not even that impressive. He's just boring to watch. He gets 30 points, but half his points come to the foul line, maybe 10. So I'd say, like, in. Like. He probably averaged like tw like in the low twenties if he didn't have so many free throws. Nikola Jokic, properly rated. Sometimes I could say, no, I gotta say slightly underrated because I've seen like people saying Giannis and and should be MVP, but like Jokic, he he's <laughs> what other center do you see that averages twenty six points, thirteen fourteen rebounds, and eight assists? I hear crickets, guys. I still hear crickets. All right, Josh Richardson. I haven't seen this player play in a while. He played on the Sixers for a little bit, I remembered. Uh, put him at properly rated. Nothing special. Just a, just a sixth man kind of player. The Claw, Kawhi Leonard. Properly rated. Great defensive player. Great in the playoffs. Great in... Too bad he was injured all year. Great in the finals. And yeah, that's where he should be. Kemba Walker, properly rated. We all know he has basically gone out of his prime just a few years back. Just think about that, though. He was on the Hornets ball and out, getting like 25 points a game, being a great playmaker and shooter he is. And yeah. Chris Middleton. I put him at slightly overrated. I'm going to put him overrated because he does have good games and he can be a good shooter sometimes, but... He's ink mad and consistent, and honestly, Jared Allen should have made, not trying to be biased here, but Jared Allen should have made it over him easily. Easily. Clay Thompson. Slightly overrated. Please don't be mad at me, Warriors fans. I don't, I'm not really a, like, I don't dislike the Warriors much. The only reason I did dislike him is because of Kevin Durant, because he just came to win you guys a championship, but I like the Warriors now just because of Curry, Clay Thompson, the Splash Brothers. He's... Well, hear me out, okay, Warriors fans. He was a really good player. He still is, but he's just—he's just not. He sometimes has these games where he shoots like, oh, for—I mean, like two for seventeen or something. But I'm not saying he's a bad player. He's not. He's a good player, but he's had a few games where he had thirty points. But he's just not as consistent as he was before his injury. With a player with kind of his injury, I'd say he's a really good player to come back with because. Like, I've seen players that came back from ACL injuries, and they were really crappy, like Derrick Rose. Oh, my gosh, that was bad. So, yeah, I'll just put him at slightly overrated. Maybe even change my mind in the future. Kyrie Irving! We all know he's unvaxxed. Doesn't matter. It's his decision. But <sighs> properly rated. We all know that Kyrie Irving, really good at crossing over. Really good at, he's really good at athleticism. Really good at driving to the basket. Just a good all-around all player. Zach Levine, <sighs> properly rated a few years back, I'd say he was underrated because ever since he came back from the injury and went to the Bulls, he's been a scorer. In his er rookie year, he was basically a finisher, a dunker, had a good some good defense, but now he's just a really good scorer and can shoot threes, shoot the mid-range, and still dunk. LaMarcus Aldridge, excuse me. Marcus Aldridge is very old. I'm surprised he's still even in the NBA. He's on the Brooklyn Nets. No one talks about him anymore, but... I'll put him at slightly underrated. Because 
ever since he came back, he's been the same player. He's given you, I think, like, average 12 points or something. Reliable score, really good. That mid-range is still there. He has to retire, though, sooner or later because he has that, like, White Wolf's Parkinson's syndrome or something that has, like, something to do with, like, heartbeat, like, uh, like a heart palpitation thing, irregular heartbeat when he, like, exercises and stuff, but, like, I, he's, he's still good, like, even though he's older. Lou Williams, the guy's retired. <sighs> Properly rated because he was... He was a great sixth man on the Clippers that one year. He played on the Lakers and the... I don't know if he played on the Rockets. I don't think he did, but... Uh, he played on the Lakers, the Clippers, and the... I don't know what other team he played for. Oh, wait, no, he, he's in the Hawks. not even retired yet. What am I talking about? He's not even retired yet. Oh, my goodness. He's not as good as he used to be. He's just a really good... Some people just say he sucks, and it's just all about he's just getting older, that's all. Some players just decline when they get older, if you guys didn't know that. And yeah, he, just, he was a good six man, and he just was a good scorer, and nothing much, just pretty athletic. Kevin Love. Properly, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm just kidding, properly rated. Good six man of the year, you can get some points, can be inconsistent though. Everyone knows that, and just properly rated. Kyle Lowry. I think he's not the first player we saw, player, Cavs player we saw. Cavs, Cavs. Yeah, it's the first Cavs player we saw. We saw no Sexton, we saw no Garland. Understandable because Garland wasn't great yet, but I'm kind of confused about Sexton. Anyway, Kyle Lowry. He's on the heat now. I'll put him at properly rated. Not as good, everyone knows he's not as good as he was in the Raptors. And he's still, he's still, his butt is bigger than his body. We all know that. <laughs> he's just not as good as he used to be. He is good at defense still. And he can, he can have some games where he's just, he's just a consistent player. And he's, he's, he's helpful for a team. Luka Doncic, properly rated. He's like literally a young LeBron that is slower, but is a better shooter than him. Paul Millsap, he's still in the league, I know that. Like, he's in the Nets, I think. Not, uh, this year, I would say, properly rated. He hasn't, no, no talked about anything. Not really that much of a thing anymore. Donovan Mitchell, man, they gotta go to underrated. King Bro, sorry about this, but Donovan Mitchell is a player to... Okay, he is a player. He can score. He's so athletic. He can dribble. He can defend. He can dunk. He's fast. He's so good. Miles Turner. Properly rated. Nothing. I don't know. A little bit overrated. A little bit. Because people say he's like, wow, he's down in force. He's just a big guy and he just. I don't know. He just. He blocks the ball, but I just. There's nothing special about him that I can see. Yusuf Nurkic, he's a big guy too, just kind of plays within the game. Well, I'm going to go with properly rated or slightly overrated. Uh, I'll go with rated. He, he still has good offense and stuff like that. Otto Porter Jr., he's on the Warriors now. He's a properly rated player, just good score and good at defense. He hasn't been the player he would turn out to be, but still fine. Paul George. Properly rated. He can have games where he he's a little bit inconsistent. I miss the the Pacers Paul George, but it's all right, it's alright. He's 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 a he's he's still a good player. And that's just where he should be. JJ Redick, he's retired. We all know that. Or I don't know we don't all know that, but I know that. He's a reporter now. Uh could say he's one of the busts, but he still had some amazing three point shooting. Amazing three-point shooting. Some people just say he was a big bust. Mm, properly rated. He was. He just had good three-point shooting. Nothing else. All right, next we got Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook or whatever. Overall, his career has been great this year. Lakers weren't a good fit for him, I'll be honest. But he has to shoot better, man. Like, he just... I'd put him at... 
he is also getting older too. I don't like when he was with the Wizards though. He was good. He averaged a triple double, man. I'll go with slightly overrated. I think he'll make a jump next year if he gets out of the Lakers. If he just doesn't make a jump next year, then I'll say overrated. Next, we got Dennis Schroeder. He's on the Rockets now. I haven't seen him much play on the Rockets. He's good. I think he's a properly rated player. Good sixth man. Can shoot. That's about it. Pascal Siakam. Slightly underrated. Raptors fans, you'd probably agree with me with this because... I, I don't hear much talk about him, and he can easily score like 30 with people being silent about him and talking about LeBron James or something. <sighs> ben Simmons, look at you, man. What a meme. <sighs> he's been gone for a year, all right, guys? He He's just slacking off, I feel like. He did have back surgery, though, so maybe he wasn't. He could, he's going to be back next year. Proper, no. Yeah, properly rate him. Just because of the year, the how long he's been out. But overall, his playing-wise is... No, I'd have to say slightly underrated. Because he's not a number one pick. But he averaged 15 points every season, ever since he came back. And he's a good passer. And he's athletic, as a 6'10 man. So, if... Yeah, let's keep him there. De'Aaron Fox. Nitringo, if you're watching this. I've got to go with underrated. He's a great player. I know the Kings, they might, they're might they probably not going to go anywhere soon. But he, De'Aaron Fox is so fast. He's athletic. He has good vertical. And he's a hype man. I like him a lot. His, his field goal percentage is a little bit down. But overall, he's very athletic. And no one talks about him because of the Kings. But good player. Jason Tatum. I said in the beginning of the year that when the Celtics were like 500, like before the All-Star break, he is an overrated player because all of his stats were down and people were like talking about him like, Jason Tatum is great. But the, the Celtics were 500. They were going nowhere until after the All-Star break when he proved me wrong. And he uh, he he got 30-point games, 40-point games. I think maybe on a 50 and a 60-point game in there. And his field goal percentage and stuff went up. His steals went up. Everything went up. Properly rated because everyone knows he's a good player. And he's been in so many playoff games at only 24 years old. Tobias Harris, properly rated. No one talks. His All of his stats were down this year. And nothing crazy about him. Just just sometimes he can score some buckets with you. Carl Anthony Towns, properly rated. Great center, athletic. And, yeah. Nikola Vucevic is properly rated. He's just a good offensive center. Nothing much special to him. Hassan Whiteside, properly rated. No one talks about him anymore. When he was on the Heat. Uh, and yeah, just hasn't really developed as we thought. Andrew Wiggins. I'll say underrated. I mean, I'll say underrated, slightly underrated, because he has gotten a lot better ever since he left the T Wolves. And he was an all star this year. And no one has talked about him ever since then, except for Warriors fans. 80. Anthony Davis, man, you got to go up to overrated because you're not even that good and you're so soft. Like, you played 40 freaking games this year and you could have played like a lot more if you didn't rest your butt off. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this is accurate for you guys. Let me go up here. We got our overrated players. We got six overrated players, eight... No, seven slightly overrated players. Got a lot of properly rated players. Hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-four. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Thirty-three properly rated players. We got thirteen a little bit underrated players. And five underrated players so i hope this is accurate enough for you guys i hope you enjoyed the video i know this is really long if you guys made it thank you so much for watching the whole thing and yeah those are my tier list and i'll see you guys next time all right wait we gotta talk there's a storm coming just to let you guys know just uh we might film some content with the storm and that'll be it yeah all right like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.
We'll make it to the 30 minute mark. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Bye guys.